Good evening. My name is Zora Bender from Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church, and I'm here for our youth lesson. And today we're going to get started, and we're going to ask Sister Cody if she'll read Psalm 16, verse 1 for us, please. And it reads, Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this afternoon, Lord, asking you to strengthen all of us in the word and mm -hmm. that you would strengthen me today as I teach this lesson. We pray that it will not fall on deaf ears and it will become a part of our lifestyle yes. and we will be a happy, generous, prosperous generation. Yes. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Today we're going to talk about the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms, and uh, the book of Psalms, P-S-A-L-M-S, Psalms, the book of Psalms. And in my research, I found out that the book of Psalms is one of the richest compilation of powerful prayers and hymns and poems. And it's full of every human emotion that you can think of. You will find anger, you will find frustration, you will find sadness, you will find fear, you will find loneliness, you will find gratitude, and you will find wonder in the book of Psalms. And we know Psalms are just songs, and there are 150 in the book of Psalms. And when I was younger, I thought David wrote all of the songs. But I found out that he only wrote 73 of the 150. I even found out that Moses wrote one. And there are different other ones on here that I'm not going to mention that help write the book of Psalms. Haggai, Solomon, Zechariah, Ezra, Hezekiah. All of these people help compile hmm. the book of Psalms. Yes. Um, and I heard people, when they get up to read scripture, they'll say, in the 41st division of Psalms, turn with me, please. And I would just say, mercy, Lord, because I have been taught there are only five divisions. There are only five divisions. Mm -hmm. And the first one is the book 1 through 41 and that's talking about man mm -hmm. the state of them being blessed the state of them falling and oh, yeah. then being recovered the second division is 42 through 72 mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and that's talking about Israel's ruin and then their redemption mm -hmm. the third division yeah. is 73 through 89 and it's talking about the sanctuary. Yes. The fourth division is 90 through 106. And it's talking about the earth. And the last fifth division is 107 through 150. And it's talking about the word of God. Yes. So remember, there are only five divisions in the book of Psalms. Oh, my and it is so unique that each division end with a doxology. And I hope everyone know what a doxology is. A doxology is just a hymn or a form of giving glory to God. So I'm going to have Sister Cody read the doxology for the first division. She's going to read Psalms 41, 13 for us. And this is the doxology. It's at the end of each division. So this is the first division, Psalms 41, 13. And it reads, Bless be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen and amen. And the, the second division, remember, we said it went from 42 to 72. And its doxology is found in 72, 19. And it reads, and blessed be his glorious name forever, and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. 
And I want you to see the similarities with the doxology at the end of each division. Mm -hmm. And we're going to the third division. That's Psalms 89, verse 52. And it reads, Blessed be the Lord forevermore. Amen and amen. The fourth division, Psalms 106, verse 48. And it reads, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say, Amen. Praise ye the Lord. And I want you to continue to listen to the similarities at the end of each division. And the last one, the fifth division, is Psalms 150, verse 6. And it reads, Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. All right, then. Now, I want to talk in general about the book of Psalms for just one minute. There are some verses that we should know. If we don't, I want you to take a look at it. The shortest one in the book of Psalms is Psalm 117. And there are only two verses in that book. In Psalms 8, 4 and 5, it tells us man is a little lower than the angels. We all know Psalms 23. We can quote that by memory. And you will find the word selah. S-E-L-A-H. Selah. It appears 71 times in the book of Psalms. And selah only means a pause or a musical note. And this is from the Hebrew. You don't say the word. You just recognize it as being a pause. Because remember, we said the books in Psalms are songs. So when you're singing this, you just pause and keep singing. Yes. And even when you're reading, you don't say the word. Yes. Okay? And I found a few so you can see what I'm talking about. Psalms 3.8, you'll see the word Selah. In Psalms 46, 11, and verse 7, you'll see Selah. And if you keep on, you'll find it throughout the whole book of Psalms. Uh, and remember, there are no chapters in Psalms. Amen. There are no chapters in Psalms. So when you're up reading, you don't say Psalms chapter 1. You just say Psalms 1. Amen. And then proceed on. All right. And lastly... Psalms 118.8, which is the middle of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And it says, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. So right. Psalms is a great book to read and to get a good understanding about because all your emotions are found there and the Lord will tell you what to do with them. Yes. And when you don't know what to read at church, Somebody call on you to read and you don't know what to read. Psalms is a great book to go to. Amen. So, yeah. remember Psalms, no chapters. And it's a compilation of poems and hymns. So, if you want to sing it, sing it. If you don't, read it. See you next time.